Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus. Hello, it's great that you could join us this week. For decades now, Australians and New Zealanders have been enjoying a healthy breakfast every morning without realising that it's produced by a Christian organisation. Since the 1920s, Wheat Bix has been manufactured by the Sanitarium Health and Wellbeing Company, which is owned and operated by the Seventh-day Adventist Church as an expression of its emphasis on holistic living. This year, research by Reader's Digest has found that Wheat Bix is once again the most trusted breakfast brand for Aussies for the third year in a row, and for Kiwis for the fifth year in a row. A few weeks back, we reported on the spate of church burnings in the US after the shooting deaths of nine African-American worshippers. Well, despite the tragedy, something positive has emerged from the situation. An outpouring of national grief and soul-searching over racism in America has led some groups to look for practical ways they can help rebuild the church buildings destroyed by fire. According to the Huffington Post, more than $100,000 has now been raised by three Muslim groups who say every house of worship should be a safe place. Tension still smoulders, however, with burnt crosses being found outside an Adventist church building in El Paso, Texas, on two separate occasions. A study of religious belief and unbelief in America has found that Seventh-day Adventists are the most racially and ethnically diverse group in the country. Adventists topped the Pew Research chart ahead of Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses and Buddhists. Church leaders say Adventist diversity is not just an American phenomenon, but is reflected in the presence the denomination has in 215 of the world's 237 countries. The least diverse religious groups in America are those whose historic identity is connected with their ethnic or national background, such as Hindus, Lutherans or African-American churches. A huge church youth gathering in Papua New Guinea's southern highlands featured the baptism of 357 people and saw a further 1,000 respond to a call to commit their lives to Christ. The event was attended by around 10,000 people and was the culmination of efforts by young Adventists in the region to reach their friends and communities for Christ. The World's Changes Project, running over a number of years, has resourced, trained and inspired young people to share the Bible with others and offer them the chance to come to faith. There's more news in this week's full half hour of Record in Focus, as well as these special features. What is the Rosetta Stone and what does it have to do with the Bible? Now we could actually read all the writing on the tombs and the temple walls and understand the Egyptian culture, their history, their medical practices and their religious beliefs. Quality time. Family life educator Trafford Fisher goes beyond the cliches. If I want to give my wife quality time, I turn towards her and I give her my focused attention. I'm not on my computer. I'm trying to keep out of my head. I'm on my stuff and saying, wow, tell me a bit more about that. And we meet the musicianaries, Eric and Monique. We, I mean, we're writing songs and we're touring. We're hearing so many amazing stories of how people were blessed by the concert or the music. And To tune in, check your program schedule for Hope Channel, the Australian Christian Channel and Digital 44 in Adelaide. Your other option, of course, is the internet. All the In Focus videos are there right now at the Record website, record.net.au. Thanks for your company this week. I'll see you next time on In Focus Adventist News. God bless. Thank you.